would normally do a cake video in my office, but um, it's kind of what we're doing. Also, I don't know how crooked I am because the floor is like uneven, so I tried to like make the camera uneven to make it look straight. It looks okay-ish. Still looks a bit crooked actually, but that's life. Anyways, I have a bunch of stuff in front of me because we're going to make my birthday cake. Um, which is not going to be what I wanted, unfortunately. We had a couple problems. First being is I wanted black buttercream on the outside. I got like a charcoal because I ran out of food coloring. <laughs> and black cocoa, so that's unfortunate. And the second part is I wanted red writing. I don't have any red dye, so we had to use pink. So we're going to have like a graveyard floral moment, I guess. But let's get into this. So I already got my cakes cut up on the level here. Um, in this case though, I take all this plastic off. I've been prepping for hours on this so I could do it in here. So I have a big old bowl here. It's gonna be my trash bowl. I'm gonna reach right this boy. And I'm gonna just get a little bit, just kind of dab it in the middle. By the way, you really should stand when you're decorating. I'm just being lazy right now. I don't have a paper towel to, hold on, I need a paper towel. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna work with what we got here because, uh, oh my God, I'm sliding. One day I'm gonna live in a place that doesn't have slanted floors. All right, so the first layer, so this is just a simple yellow cake. Um, I will put the recipe down below. I just didn't feel like showing you making all the showing me making all the cake and the frosting and all that buttercream whatever. Just because it's like I'm really boring doing that. So how about we just do the decorating part, which is the fun part. But I will link recipes down below or write it out if it was a recipe I just did myself. Okay, so I do have a cookie dough filling I'm gonna put in here. We're only doing two thick layers because we're doing a birthday cake. I want thick layers. And also, I'm lazy. I don't really want to slice it. So this is where it gets a little fun because I'm doing a thick layer here. I kind of need to, I should have put a piping bag for this. So that way I could like make a dam kind of, but it's literally fine. Oh my God. So why are you supposed to stand? I'm making this very difficult for myself. So my cookie dough isn't super like thick, so to speak. Like there's not a lot of it, it's more of like just an in the middle thing. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of build a wall or try to build a wall. So that way when I put it in here, it just kind of sits in the middle. Cause this is how you be lazy. I don't know where to, we didn't, we didn't think this part through. Hold on, plastic, plastic, plastic is a useful tool. We're gonna use all the things. That is, learn through the faults of others. This is me trying to cater to my own laziness. I'm gonna regret it. Okay, so, I didn't get a spoon to, I'll, spit. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, all right, we're back, I have a spatula now. <laughs> so I can like scoop my cookie dough out. Okay, this got kind of thick. So I did put the cookie dough in the fridge to thicken it a little, which is fine. Oh. Because I really want this to be like, almost like its own layer in a way. So if it pushes a bit of the icing out, it's okay. Cause I'm gonna do a very light, probably like dirty ice or crumb coat, whatever you want to call it around it anyways. So some of the white buttercream comes out, that's okay. like smooth you. All right. So I'm gonna go stick this into the fridge for maybe like five, 10 minutes. Gonna clean some of this off and then we're we'll back to putting on our final coat and decorate. Oh no, I just realized I was gonna soak the layers of milk. So that way they, I'll just drink it now. There was some cake crumb in that milk. It's fine. 
Everything's fine. Less dishes, I guess. I'll be right back. Okay. So, sliding. All right, so we're gonna hope that this Butterbean is okay, because I did have it covered in plastic, so it wouldn't dry out. Mm. So I did put black cocoa in here to start the base, so it's gonna taste like Oreos, essentially, on the outside, which is, like, awesome. All right, Let's pull this plastic forward. Oh, this is, yep, this is good. So this is a pretty loose consistency, but it should still hold itself, like, you know. It's just there, all right. So I'm gonna plop this on top. I might not even need all of this, so I might have to do something with that. But what I'm gonna do here is just very gently kind of push it over the sides. And just kind of bring it down. So I think I'm gonna throw this into a piping bag and we're gonna make a border, like on the top and the bottom, because it's like it's already stained, so I might as well at that point. Also, my siding is very like hello. Anyway, like taking a lot off. I'm not a person, I don't like not a person. I am, I my, I'm good with people because I am myself a person and also a top. Um, yeah, let's get a piping bag and we'll just like, I'll just put you here for a moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. So the fun thing about piping is you get air trapped. So I'm gonna just tighten this a little bit. All right, I think we'll be good. So now I think I'll be able to catch this on my phone camera just fine, which you probably see the tripod leg of. You're welcome. All right. So. Sorry, you won't see the bottom very well because I can't really start on the other side very easily, so to speak, you know? I'm just making a scallop border. Oops, messed up that. That's okay, I'll be the back. And I'm just gonna open start up. Like, um, which one are you? This is a Wilton M1, in case you're wondering about this one. Yeah, unfortunately this is not quite the right consistency for I'm gonna need this anymore, so I will just like do this for now. Not fun. All right, I'm gonna put this ball on the floor and out of my way, so I can turn over here. See, here's the problem: in this lighting and on the camera, like my monitor over there, it looks black. It is like a charcoal color, <laughs> which, depending on how you look at charcoal, it can be black. But usually, charcoal is like just a really dark gray. Okay, um, let's do my roses next. So I chose purple for my rose boys, and I realized I made a small error. So see my tip, I have the bag perforation up here. I should have it underneath, that way it went with this. So that might potentially get in the way. We will see. All right, think about Roses is you really can do this so many different ways. Do the way it works for you, whether it be looking in a cake book, doing the traditional way, which is like you do certain layers and whatnot. You will always build a base though. Oh good, this one's not sliding this time. So I was trained to basically um, do like this. To make like your curls. to get the inside and then to go over them. Which this is not working because it's not how I meant to do it. But there's so many ways to do this. Yeah, so that didn't do what I wanted. Partly because this is not the right consistency, I thought it was. 
plot twist, it is not. That is my fault. It's okay though. This is my cake. And we'll do what uh, please. Yeah, it's gonna look more like a carnation, but that's okay. Alright. So I got little cake little cake lifters. Yeah, so I'm gonna lift a whole cake. Got a little flower lifter. It's meant just to slide under. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, this didn't. Nope, this didn't work. Okay. Okay. This means this is not the right consistency, so that stinks. Alright. So I'm gonna try. I can't get it. Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take a different route. I don't know what that route is. <laughs> I could scoop this out because it's just sitting on plastic, but it's like, if this is not the right consistency to do it on top, it's not going to do what I want. So... That's the problem. Here's what I'm going to do. Is... I'm going to make... Some rosebuds. gonna work with what we got here. Let's see if we can do what I want to do. Oh, this is okay, I have to do it this way, right? work this. This is the thing, it's a death cake, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna roll with it. Okay, I think I know what I wanna do. I think I know what I wanna do. Actually, there's not a lot of frosting in here. So I think I should be able to tighten this and do what I want. Alright. So this I think I can do thing down. So I'm gonna have this be this way, I think. Alright. I want to. It's fine. So I probably should stand up for this. So you can get a crotch shot. Actually, I'll sit on my knees. Watch me like knock my entire stand over. So. Okay. So I'm gonna do. Alright. I think I got this. I think I got this. Tired twink. My D's a little wonky. There you go. Tired twink. We love a retired twink. Now that I think about it, a rose on here would have been really big. You might made a small one if it'd be too big. Oh, that's so sad. Alright. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna come to my retired twink cake here. I'm gonna cut in over here so I don't eat part of that part. Well, I'm gonna cut into it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? It's fine. I don't really want a huge piece. Also, I made like a smaller cake. This is also still a huge piece, whoops. Oh my, that's one of my hairs. Wow, that's embarrassing. Okay. Are we are we not cutting through? Like I'm trying to cut you and you don't want to cut. Oh my 
Could this get any worse? Like, we're trying. Okay, there we go. All right, there's the inside of the cake, in case you're curious. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a picture of the inside. Okay. So this is a vanilla cake, some cookie dough in the center, and then um, the icing it has black cocoa, so it should taste like Oreos, essentially. Let's taste the cake. It's okay, it's still like a little cold. But it needs that soak, so that's like, all right, let me taste the middle. Mm. Wow, that tastes good. Okay, love it. Okay. So, this was my wonderful, wow, this is very fluorescent on camera, so that's gonna be fun to edit. Oh, this has been my 30th birthday cake. It's not what I thought, but I mean, what's more on brand than me messing up my own birthday cake as usual? Anyways, see ya.